How you doing guys, my name is Muffley, and I'm going to show you some raft building tips on Ark Survival Evolved. The first tip I call the pillar trick. It's a commonly used tactic. First, you place the pillar inside of the sail of the raft. Try to get it as center as possible. Once done, remove the sail from the raft. Place down the foundation as it will snap according to the pillar. Remove the pillar and set down a pillar in the middle of the foundation. This will cause the foundation next to it to sink. You want to do this as many times as possible till the foundation is flush with the raft. When doing this, make sure to remove the pillar and the foundation that you previously set each time, otherwise it will interrupt the foundations that you're trying to lower. Eventually you reach the final foundation, where it will look flush according to the raft, just like this. The purpose behind this is to protect your raft from anything under the water that's trying to destroy your raft. The foundations will provide extra protection by making anything that's attacking your raft go through the foundation first to get to the raft itself. Now to protect your entire raft, set down foundations all around the entire edge of the raft including the spot in the middle. With foundations down, this allows you to set down ceilings two lengths out. This will extend the size of the raft, allowing more surface area for you to build on. When doing this, be aware that you aren't able to place down walls at this extended length due to it being too far away from the foundation. The next tip I have involves protecting your loot. As you can see here, I placed down a vault, a smithy, a fabricator, as well as two refining forges. If you build these structures on the outer edge of the raft, you can then put them inside of a rock, as you can see here. This will protect them from any raider that's trying to get your loot. The structures will be inside the rock. So even if the raft is destroyed, the bags of loot will be stuck inside the rock. Most raiders will be turned off by this, unless you're on a highly aggressive PvP server. If you do use your raft for storage, I highly recommend placing a sleeping bag or a bed somewhere nearby, so that way when you spawn back in, you can get to your raft very easily. Make sure the sleeping bags or the bed are hidden very well. The next tip I have involves dino taming cages and dino storage cages on top of the raft. It's very simple. Place down four dinosaur gateways and gates in a perfect square. Now you can make these as large as you want depending on the size of the dino. Something like this will be able to carry a medium sized dino to all your small sized dinos. Put down ramps on the outer edge of your raft leading into the dino cage itself. That way you and a dino can get inside of it easily. Next we'll make a simple taming cage for any medium sized dino. First we remove the one dino gate. Then place down the window framed walls. This will allow us to look inside the dino cage to tranquilize the dinosaur that's caught inside there. I leave this portion open so that way I could fit through, but any medium sized dino won't be able to. Leading him in, I slowly walk through the back door that I left open there. He's too sizable to fit through. Going around the back, I close the door on him, keeping him caged in there now. From here, you're able to tranquilize any dino that's caught inside there. Now for taming. Now that the dino is yours, you're able to safely transport it 
back to your base by floating with the raft to the location of it. The next tip I have involves protecting yourself on a PvP server from anybody who's trying to pick you off your raft. It's very simple. Build a simple structure of a walled off area around the position of where you stand when driving the raft. Then simply place ceilings on top of the structure, providing coverage from any PvP attackers that are trying to pick you off your raft. The final tip I have for you guys is an end game style raft build. By placing electrical generators down, you're able to put down turrets surrounding the outer edge of the raft. You're also able to place down plant species X anywhere you want on the raft, allowing extra protection. The metal spike fence on top is used to protect the raft from any dinos that are trying to land on top of it. These type of rafts I call war rafts or raid rafts. Their purpose is served to attack any base with the raft itself. Most of the time, when they go out into battle, you probably won't be seeing them again. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you survivors out in the arc. Detonate the C4 charges. They patched this? Is this patched? There's no way. What the hell? Alright, let me just try moving the raft. Maybe something's wrong with the C4? I don't really understand here. Nope! Fucking hell.